Hello guys, Rad here from Rad Pizarot and I do want to let you know that the extended monthly reading which focus in depth into a career and uh, relationship life for the representative side uh, sign are now available for just as little as uh, one dollar. So if you want to um, if you want to go more in depth for your star sign and you like my readings in the way I read, you can uh, purchase these extended videos on my website, uh, either going there uh, from your browser or uh, just, you know, visiting the link that is displayed down below in the description of this video. And uh, <clears throat> that way you can purchase those videos. So it's like getting a, a two additional readings to the general reading of the month which is totally free the general one and it is on my youtube channel and um, for those who are more prone you know to know everything they can purchase for just three dollars their sun moon and ascendant sign and that way they are gonna have six reading to kind of like piece together and to and to obtain the biggest picture ever for what is yet to come for them into this representative month and the price is that low because I want to show you um, my appreciation for your loyalty and support. And in case you want to uh, support the channel furthermore, that is the way you do it. So with that being said, I just wish you best of luck and please enjoy your monthly general tarot reading. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be monthly tarot reading July 2018 for Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising. So this is going to be a four position spread. The first position that expresses up Gemini's theme or a topic for the month of July. Then we do have the challenges that Gemini needs to or have to face during that particular month then it is what uh, the next position is what the month has to offer as a positivity here or in other words things the Gemini can really capitalize on and the last one uh, the last position it is uh, known as the final outcome and as a final outcome it does represent the result of um, the first three cards all right so as it is an enhanced spread it means that we are going to use multiple cards per, per position or in our case this is going to be two cards per position and the first card for the uh, first position for the topic is that we do have the Queen of Wands with the Nine of Swords so that will be a person uh, the to a topic of your month this is going to be a woman and usually I would say that that is a, a very um, confident woman all right uh, this is a woman which um, really knows how needs to act and and how she needs to approach situations etc etc and this woman is very close to you because it comes as uh, the topic of the month Gemini and it could be someone that you're working with it could be a, a very good friend of yours in your social circle it could be as well your mother let's say or uh, you know it could be uh, your lover it doesn't have to be as well a woman it could be also a, a male but it's it, if it is a male it's gonna have more feminine representative when it comes to representation in front of the world and the fact that we do have the nine of swords here it means that this woman uh, has screwed up or is about to screw up and my, my point here is that out of her confidence uh, or out of his confidence they did something terribly wrong and now they need to take they have to, to face the consequences of their actions and uh, during that month they will try to uh, avoid those consequences unfortunately they can't the only thing that they can do is face their fear so <clears throat> this is going to be the topic you're going to be a collateral um, I, I cannot say damage but the topic will be collateral for you so I take it that the rest is gonna go just perfectly fine your uh, your career and etc etc it is just where that person is it, it is where you need to place your focus up 
because that could be uh, your lover which seriously messed up and now they have to face the consequences and those consequences will be given from you or it could be as well your boss my point is that you can really capitalize and utilize on that uh, error they have done and if you want something from them now is the time where you can take it all right so the next card or the next position expresses up the challenges that you need to overcome here that will be the ten of swords with the seven of swords and that is total denial of help so here we do have a glimpse that this woman is going to ask you for help all right and the challenge for you will be to accept it apart from um, you could you could say you know I you should not bother me I mean this is your problem not my problem and uh, you should uh, kind of like you know deal with your own problem on your own while this is a uh, very accurate strategy all right uh, also it is a, a strategy in which you are missing a very valuable ally in the moving on forward into the future why because this is a, a challenge it means that when you overcome it you get rewarded and what will be the reward here overcoming the challenge of denying help to that person or denying compassion or solidarity or empathizement well, if you don't deny such kind of um, interaction, you know, or such kind of help, then they are going to repay you back big time moving on forward into the future. You need to know that they are in a very um, down situation or kind of like cornered situation now in this very moment. But usually they are finding themselves on the top of the world almost always, especially when we're talking about business here. And even if we're talking about a, um, a personal relationships, these people are very um, magnetic to others okay okay very uh, enthralling and that being said that could be an opening for you to be with such an enthralling person all right and helping them doing so although it's gonna cost you something and it's gonna cost you a certain sacrifice for what it seems because it's going to uh, what what is going to do is to devour some of your time and not only some of your time but as well um, some of the things you will have to do in order to help them goes a little bit against your code of conduct if I may say that way as well so you will be not very fine of doing these but for the sake of finding that person of making that person feeling better it, it will totally worth it so the positivity you can extract from that month and the rewards this is what we're, we were talking about here with this woman and rewards this is what you're going to uh, to have okay so we do have the two of wands with the king of wands so this is a, a leadership here all right that will be the reward you are going to um you are going to obtain you can either become a, a a leader of a certain team in your job by helping that woman probably your boss or you can become the leader of your relationship the thing is here is that you are deciding what to do from now on it is because uh, how can i place it with the king of wands as, as a uh, a secondary card uh, it is because you uh, you will be defined or kind of like approved to be much stronger than you are right now. Very favorable cards for establishing private business because uh, let me give you an example here. Let's say that this woman here has her own business, all right? But right now she's really struggling dealing with a certain project. Project she took, she thought it will be a piece of cake, but unfortunately... It didn't turn out that way and she's suffering serious setbacks. Luckily for her, however, you are the specialist she needs and she will ask you for help. Maybe she will tell you, I cannot pay you right now, you know, but I need your help. So what you can do is either deny that help or say, okay, fine, I, I, I will see what I can do, you know. And when you start working, she will see a very resourceful person, not only that she's going to hire you there, but as well, uh, she's going to give you a, a very good salary, something more than you have hoped for as soon as she overcomes that particular challenge. So, um, pretty much this is a, an example of how it's going to unfold that month for you as again it may not be only for career it could be also about relationship it could be uh, for example a person that you really like suffer some some kind of setbacks and you and they could ask you for a particular help you know and 
helping them it means that you need to sacrifice some of your personal time that you have already scheduled but you, when you decide to help them they could they will decide that actually you are a good match for them and you can make a relationship so that this is what kind of reward you are going to um, obtain here during that particular month you need to give your devotion so you can request a devotion from that person that you are trying to and throw because for what it seems this is the kind of uh, situation we do have and then at the end we do have the results of all that that will be the temperance card with the knight of wands and this is a, a totally different behavior or totally different situation in between you both from what the month started here we do have a carefree behavior experimenting with different enterprises so you're going to find yourself in this a uh, very undemanding situation in which you both will have the pleasure to um live the life the way you want to live it all right the knights of wands with the temperance points that you will be able to also settle up so settle up some disagreements that you may have had in the past really finding a, a solid common ground reaching a, a certain uh, understanding and agreement as well in in which you both are going to be very satisfied of the results i not to mention that you and this person either a woman or a man will have a a very faithful um, how can I support her through development moving on into the future and it, it does look if not a long-term relationship this looks like a long uh, a lifetime friendship here uh, what you're going to achieve with the temperance and the night of wands all that is asked from you guys is not to be um, selfish and as well not to be uh, how can I place it um, judgmental all right everybody could screw up even you. It is just, you know, what we can do to um, overcome it and to fix it. Because make no mistake, it is a, a great deal of effort that woman to ask for help. So, in other words, you should be rather honored for her asking or for him asking you for your help than being discussed. So with that being said, Geminis, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for July 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.